Three, two, one, action. Episode eight, barn talk. Coach Abe's, Any B. Scott P, Timmy behind the camera. The barn's popping right now. Um, here for uh, a little social media talk today on this episode of Barn Talk. Um, some of the pressures, um, you know, different ways to help you possibly in recruitment. Just overall being a, a kid or if you're a coach and, you know, just different ways on how to use it. Um, but first, Coach, how are you? I'm great. Great. You uh, suffered a slight injury earlier. Yeah, I self-diagnosed diagnosed myself with an Achilles sprain. Yeah. Uh, one to two days, and I'll, I should be good to go. Depending yeah. On Most people weather, Achilles really, are. Really depends on the maybe weather. a year, but for an athlete like yourself. Yeah, I had you know what gets me going, keeps me right. Yeah, right there, Mountain Dew. That's the offense. That's. Yeah, no doubt. No other options. Some people. You know, use Tylenol to, for their pains. I, I go straight to the do. Yeah. You know. Do the do, as they say. Yeah, I, I do the do. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, in, my, it's in my bloodline, so yeah. there's no doubt about it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just want to touch a little bit about social media and the pressures of social media and how things can, um, you know, how social media can impact a, a player both on and off the field, um, those kind of things. Um, so I have a question for you first. Oh, sure. So obviously you've been doing this. Lots of cardio. <laughs> You've been, a lot of core work. <laughs> You've been doing this obviously a lot longer than me. Um, how has social media changed from when you started NEB to today? Yeah, I think social media. Obviously, I'm not a dinosaur. I mean, no, I know, we, but we had the internet and everything. Yeah, it's crazy. But I would say, it's crazy. but it has um, like, I mean, it's that's definitely changed. 12, I mean, 13. 15 and it's, years ago. Obviously, it's, it can be a huge asset to, to players nowadays. Back in the day, it really was kind of obsolete, not obsolete, but it wasn't used as much. Um, obviously, we had the internet, um, but it wasn't the, the, the video, it, it just wasn't used as much, I guess. It's, it wasn't out there. Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff wasn't out there. So it wasn't uh, as big a part of the process as it is now, and, and, it, and it can be both. Um, as a player, it can be a great tool um, to be able to put some stuff, some videos together and, and you know, post them online. Um, those can be great. There's also negatives to it. I, you know, I'm not as big of a fan of the stuff um, that, that kids post on social media nowadays, but, uh, you know, I'm old school, I guess. Um, but it's changed in, you know, because rankings and all this other stuff that, you know, doesn't, you know, matters to some people, doesn't matter to others, but it's uh, it's definitely different now than it was, you know, 15 years ago when we started Northeast Baseball. Um, but how is it different? I don't know. I've kind of I've kind of wandered here. Um, but it's it, yeah. it, 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 here's my biggest issue with it. It just creates pressures. It creates unneeded pressure for high school high school student athletes. So, yeah. you know, uh, you know, this kid's, you know posting this stuff or that kid committed here or why am I not committing all that fun stuff I um, and it's almost like it's a, a, a me it's a me thing a self-promoting thing and yeah. I've never just been a huge fan of the, the self-promotion of an individual player um, from them you know from themselves from, the, from themselves sure. it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just hard to get a wrap your hands around because you know for us it's it's about the relationships we have with coaches and be able to call and evaluate um, and now, you know, kids are forgetting about that process of posting a video and think people are going to evaluate them from that. Yeah. Um, but it does get the, it, it can open some doors for them for sure. You go and throw in an event and you're throwing, uh, you know, 90 miles an hour, it's going to open some doors if you post that video. Uh, yeah. More for pitchers than position players. Uh, but it's starting to happen a little bit more with hitters and exit velocities and all that kind of stuff. Just because you hit a ball 105 doesn't mean that you're a good hitter. Yeah. Um, and so there's still a ton of evaluation that still has to happen for them. Uh, from a college coach, but yeah. you know, it can't open the door for sure. Yeah, and I think you have so many, you know, I guess they're, you know, small companies or, you know, companies or, you know, Instagram pages, you know, you have youth prospects um, that, you know, are all over Instagram, all over TikTok, all over, you know, YouTube. Yeah that are promoting kids. And I think, you know, things like that are doing a great job. That's yeah, great for you the know? game. Um, it's, it's showing, giving exposure. And a lot of the kids they're posting are obviously higher level, you know, yeah. they're already committed, but. And um, probably unsolicited. I think they're probably just posting those Correct, and of, I think that's like, stuff like that I think is awesome. I think, like you said, when you, you run into some trouble um, is posting about yourself. 
Um, and you know, I think we, we've always preferred to post our own guys from our pages as opposed to their own. Yeah. Um, yeah, we know, actually asked them to, you know, yeah. send it to us so that we can post it just because. Exactly, and I think, I think we love posting look. our kids. Um, and, and it's not to say that you shouldn't post about yourself, but you know, I think, again, like anything, there's stigmas. So like you said, it comes off as a little bit me. It's not to say you are a me guy, you are selfish, but at the end of the day, I think with a lot, perception is reality. Yeah. I think we've said that before. And if you're constantly posting about yourself, you know, that may actually prove as a negative. Yeah. some coaches yeah um, that's happened that's happened recently you know pe people just you know players in our program just constantly posting about themselves and the, the reality is they don't get it you know they yeah, don't absolutely. understand it they think yeah, they're yeah. trying to promote themselves they're trying hey this is what i should do in order to put myself in the best position to play college baseball i'm gonna put all this stuff out i'm ranked this i threw that i did that but the reality of it is, yeah maybe that that may help with some schools and some schools may like it we also know some schools that right away will just walk away from that yeah um because they just think it's uh um you know uh, a stigma like you said it may, maybe some in all reality it's it's probably it's most of the, most of the time it's probably not because the kids it's just the way society is nowadays put it oh what happened in life oh my my kid took his first steps i'm gonna post that on social media yeah like to me that's like it's crazy yeah you know like yeah it, that's where we're at yeah we're all guilty of it i mean sure, I'm sure we've yeah. all posted something and you're proud of your you know proud of your son, daughter, you know, whatever, you know, walking, but it, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, uh, you know, it's tough for me. Yeah. And I think, you know, social media isn't everything, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's done a lot of great, you know, yeah. I think to just providing information, yeah. um, you know, sharing information, um, you know, communicating with people. Yeah. But I think there's also the negative side to social oh, media. 100%. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, I think kids can struggle with, you know, I think so kind of, you know, moving to that, there's definitely negatives of social media, and not even from an athletic standpoint. You know, I think it's, you know, maybe you have a kid who's not as developed physically as other kids, you know, or, um, you know, real life thing you know kids posting with you know maybe their girlfriends or stuff like or hanging out with yeah. you know different groups of friends um i think you know that kind of peer pressure via social media you know is is something that kids are well, hand, real, have to deal not, with yeah. today that maybe you know you didn't have to deal with i didn't you know maybe just as i was in college kind of it started to get bigger but yeah. it's a different it's a different bully i guess in yeah, a way it is you know without a doubt um and you know obviously you know you having younger kids it's something they're growing up with yeah you know it's and weird. it's almost like it's an automatic you know it's it's, a, it's crazy it's almost like uh um it's like when, aim yeah us, i forgot you know, my wife like, brought up something great the other day it was like uh, when we were growing up, something was going to be the death of us, and now our kids growing up now, YouTube's going to be the death of them, yeah. or you know what I mean, like the, the death of that society of you know they're just throwing themselves in. I think it was like video games, when sure, I was, like they yeah. just started coming out. Um, but every society has them, and there's pressures with those things, and you know some kids, these kids are not necessarily mature enough to handle the power of what social media can say when you tweet something out or you send something out in an yeah. Instagram post or. A, uh, snap face, as Coach Belichick calls it. Um, sometimes those, you know, kids aren't um, kids aren't prepared. You know, they they don't really know the power of words and uh, at this age, so they're really not mature enough to handle that sometimes. So um, that's it's you know we try to talk to our kids about it and what they post and how maybe a 17 year old kid posts something here that a 12 year old one of our 12 year old players sees and, and how that's going to affect them. Yeah. Um, so being responsible with what they're posting and. And, and making sure we're trying to stay as positive as we can on, on social media. But uh, as far as the baseball side, again, like the, the social media can be great and it can provide um, the opening of some doors for some players. Um, but, it, but again, you gotta be careful. It's a, it's a slippery slope on what you're posting. If you, if you go on your Instagram and your post is of, everything on your, your feed is of you, mm -hmm. You know, and maybe you're not, you know, maybe your best friend's been doing great too and you don't post anything, you know, retweet his stuff or something like that. I know this is silly, but like I would look into that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, I think that's sorry to cut you off. No, I mean, but it's... I, I think uh, like even, you know, talking to my brother, um, 
you know, they're looking at guys' social media accounts, guys who they're looking into draft, guys who they're looking to sign. Like, they're digging back. They, yes, years, they, and they're going years, deep, years. and you'll never know they're looking. Yep. You know, like they're looking at what you've posted, um, you know, what your captions are, how you've posted it. And remember, just because you delete the post doesn't mean it's not there. So, yeah. like, you always need to think about what you're posting, how you're posting it. Um, even non-baseball stuff. Yeah, You absolutely. know, you flexing with your homies, like, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You know, um, like, I, I think being conscious of that. Um, and I think being a younger kid, again, like you said, you don't understand the power of social media yeah. Yeah. Um, and how many people it can reach. Um, and that's not to say, you know, everybody has a million followers, but people still see it, you know, like. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, I think just being conscientious of. And aware. Of, yeah, and aware, aware of what you're posting. Um, you know, I know, about like, it. we talked with, you know, Devaney yesterday. Um, you know, he's, he's deleted all his, his social media off his phone. Yeah. Um, you know, he still checks it on his computer. Um, but. You know, and then I have another friend who's, you know, kind of deleted it all, period. Um, and just the, the different clarities they have from it. And then, you know, we've, like us, we're, we're on it for work. Like, you know, I'm on it all the time for, yeah. for any B stuff. Like, so um, I think it's become, you know, something that's very concrete in our lives. You know, I don't think anybody, you know, it's necessarily it's a bad thing. Yeah, it's only going to expand and, you know, move to a different app. But um, yeah. You know, I think just understanding, you know, the, the pros and cons of, ha of how you use it. Yeah, making it a useful tool uh, in your process instead of a negative one yeah. at the end of the day. Um, how do you, and I don't know, maybe you've thought about it, maybe you haven't, like how have you, do you anticipate it changing at all? Like, you know, continuing to, is it going to continue on? I'm a big tech on, guy. But no, I know, that's what I'm asking you. As a, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't see it going anywhere. It's going to yeah. continue to be a useful tool for. Uh, it's still going to be there. You know, it could be a pot. You can either turn it into a positive or a negative as a player. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, again, I think it just gets more and more. Uh, it probably just gets bigger. There's going to yeah. be more services to go out and help. You know, etc. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that's about you know. As much as a, I think it just, you know, an overall summary of this would be, you know, just think about what you're posting before you post it, um, just in a general sense. And then from baseball wise, like, and if you play for us, talk to us about yeah. it. You know, like, even after this video, you watch this video, you have questions, like, talk to us about it. Um, because you may not like what we always say, but we're, what we're saying is trying to help you. Yeah. Um, nothing we say is trying to hurt you. Um, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. No cap. Yeah. Um, Stay lit. Go Duke. Big game. Tonight, when you're watching this, huge game. Um, enjoy March. Great time of the year. Yeah, March Madness. Great time of the year. Um, good luck to everybody in their seasons getting going this next couple weeks. And if you have questions, ask. <laughs> and... See you next time, Farm Talk.